Hello everyone, it is me Sasha Kawaii Cat, and today I'll be showing you how I design cute art for Redbubble. I'll also be discussing my personal experience with using Redbubble, and if I think it's worth it. Now, in case you don't know what Redbubble is, it is a print-on-demand site that artists can use to sell their artwork. Basically, all you need to do is upload your work to the site, and Redbubble is able to print your artwork on various items like phone cases or clothing. Once someone purchases that item, Redbubble does the printing and shipping on their end. And for that service, you pay a percentage of the money you make. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you have no doubt seen ads for this site, or some artists you follow online happens to use it to sell stickers and stuff. You know, like me. You might be an artist yourself wondering if you should start selling some artwork on Redbubble as well. For me, I've been using Redbubble for a little over a year now, I think. I really just started using it as a way to sell stickers and stuff, because I'd always get people asking me if I sold stickers, and I would always say no. <laughs> Because unfortunately, I really just didn't have the time to make prints and stickers to sell to anyone. Then I heard about Redbubble through some artists I follow, and how easy it was to sell my art online, and I decided to give it a try. That was one of the things that drew me to Redbubble, just how easy it was for me to sell products on there. All I had to do was design something and upload it to the site. Then someone else would take care of printing that design on whatever item, as well as sending it to the customer. And for a lot of people, that's very convenient, because some of us might not be able to do that ourselves, or we might just be too busy. Designing a simple artwork might take like a few minutes for some of us, and then after that, it's pretty easy to just upload it to a site and then let someone else deal with the hassle of doing everything else. For me, that's a huge time saver and a very easy way to make some money, despite having to pay a percentage of that money to Redbubble for the work that they do on their end. For me, that's fine. I'm okay with using Redbubble to make some passive money. But I will say, if you're able to design your artwork and do all the other stuff yourself, then it should end up being more profitable for you. If I was able to do all the printing and shipping myself, then I probably would. Redbubble does take a significant amount for the service that they provide. But for me, at the moment, it's still pretty convenient to use their site. But like I said, if you're able to do it on your own, then that might be the better option for you. Now let's talk about how I make art for Redbubble. Now for the artwork that you see in this video, I actually use three apps. Procreate, Infinite Painter, and Ibis Paint X. But as I've mentioned before in other videos, my go-to app for creating artwork is Ibis Paint X. I really just decided to use those other apps for screen recording purposes because I knew I was going to make this video. For the artwork themselves, I really like drawing cute things, so I decided that I wanted to do a combination of just some food items and add some cute cats in there somewhere. Usually when I'm drawing food, I'll look up some pictures online so that I can use them as my reference. So for the first drawing I did, as you can see I had a picture of some pancakes, which I used as my reference, and then I sort of just drew from there and added the cat where I thought it would work. I made the cat the whipped cream, which I think it looks cute. You guys can let me know in the comments below how you think the first drawing turned out. Recently for Redbubble, I've decided that I wanted to do some artwork that was just cute and silly. For all of these designs, I do my sketches and my line work in Procreate and Infinite Painter, and then for the coloring, I do that in Ibis Paint X. Mostly I do it like that because I really like the brushes that Procreate and Infinite Paint has, but I like coloring in Ibis Paint X because I think the feel of it is just a lot more easier. <laughs> I don't like um, some of the features that, that Procreate and Infinite Painter has where it's hard to color, it's hard for me to fill in, you know, the line work. So I just always do it in Ibis Paint X. Plus I really like the one sparkle brush that it has. I really like that brush. I use it a lot for a lot of my artwork. And I think it's easy for me to add a lot of, you know, cute elements in Ibis Paint X. For the second drawing, I actually did this one entirely in Ibis Paint X. I also had a reference pulled up for this one. Actually, I had several references pulled up for the second drawing. And overall, I like how it turned out, but I did have some trouble with the line art and all that and the coloring and, you know, just trying to make the drawing make sense and trying to make it look cute. But I think it turned out okay. Uh, if you guys like it, let me know. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think.
And for the last drawing, I did this one in Infinite Painter, which I swear to God, no one uses that app and I don't know why it's actually pretty good. I don't actually use it that often, but sometimes I do use it and it's a pretty decent app. I really struggled with this last drawing as well though. I don't know why I decided to draw so many lines, so many, so many squares. <laughs> I think I just wanted to punish myself for something, I don't know. Because it was so frustrating and actually kind of annoying throughout that entire drawing. You can just see me struggling trying to figure out how squares work. But you know, I did my best. I actually, I really like how this one turned out as well. Again, you know, comment below, tell me what you think, what do you guys think of the designs? Afterwards, of course, I did the coloring for this in Ibis Paint X as well. And that was pretty fun. Like I said, I really like using Ibis Paint X. I like the coloring process in there a lot more than say using Procreate or Infinite Painter as I mentioned. So coloring this was very fun. Uh, I sort of experimented a bit with the color and the way I added the shadings and stuff like that. And I think it turned out okay. Usually I don't color the shading like this, but you know, I was trying something new and I really like what I did. I stuck to the typical background that I usually do with the grid and um, the sparkles. And for the last one, we have some cute little ice creams. Um, I sort of wanted to follow a theme of doing like breath breakfast items but then I got kind of bored and I ran out of stuff to draw I thought about drawing a waffle at one point and I was like no and so I decided to just draw some ice creams and I think that was an okay idea I like ice cream the drawing process for this was a lot more straightforward I did the line art in infinite painter and again I did the coloring in ibis paint x I also had fun working on this one I added some roses here and there and I thought that looked cute well, I shouldn't say roses. Those aren't roses. I added some flowers here and there. Those turned out okay. I don't really know how to draw flowers very well, but I think they looked okay. coloring for this one was pretty straightforward as I mentioned before. I followed the same coloring pattern as the other three and like I said I think it turned out okay as well. For all of the stickers I thought I'd do something with a cute background for all of them but also I wanted to design something that you could also just have on its own without the background so that they could work as stickers or you know whatever. If you like these designs and you'd like to purchase something, the link to my Redbubble account is in the description below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see me create some more content like this, please consider donating to my coffee account. The link for that is also in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!